Hey guys, Terry here with Fast Cast Rods again, and I wanted to make a quick video about uh, <laughs> ice fishing heaters and how safe they are because um, I had made a previous video about ice fishing in, in California and whatnot, and I had started doing some research about uh, possibly buying a tent or maybe a little ice shack or something like that for this year. And uh, what I found was that you really need to be careful when um, you're ice fishing and the heaters that you're going to use when you ice fish because, uh, well, most of your ice fishing heaters are propane. They're easy to carry. They're relatively cheap. You can pick one up between $20 and $50 depending on if you want a single head or dual head. Uh, but it's really important. This is why I wanted to make this video. It's really important that if you're going to put an ice fishing heater in a tent or a shack or uh, even a... Uh, travel trailer that you may have cut a hole out in the bottom where you can you know just drive it out on the lake it is really really important to understand whether or not uh, you should even have a heater in there and I'm gonna explain that just a little bit because when you think about heaters you think about uh, what what's the different types of heating elements we could have we could have wood heat we could have electric heat we could have propane heat or things like kerosene heat and stuff like that. And uh, one of the things that I really took some time to do some research on uh, was propane heaters because those seem to be the most common. I have one in my garage here. Um, a lot of people have them. And what I found was that people were getting carbon monoxide poisoning because they're not venting their heaters enough. And the, the heaters are putting out all this carbon monoxide and you're staying warm, but then either people were coming back home with headaches or feeling nauseous or feeling dizzy and and people were like every time i go ice fishing um i don't feel good at or you know uh carbon monoxide poisoning man you can pass out and then you're dead so it's really important that um you figure out what size of shack you want, or they call them ice shacks, or ice shanties, or ice tents, or anything like that, and, and then figure out if uh, it's safe to have a heater. If it's not safe to have a heater, is there anything else that you can do to keep warm? And uh, I'm going to go into that in just a second after I finish this, but uh, if you're going to use a propane heater, because they are so common and so popular, make sure you get one that has a, a CO2 uh, detector on it or an oxygen level sensor or something like that. They're not that much more, uh, but it's going to save your life and it's going to save you not feeling well and, and wondering why, like every time you go out to ice fish, you're not feeling well. So it's really important that you vent your propane heaters correctly. Another thing, um, if you let's say you have an ice shack that you built, or uh, even better, I know a guy that has a trailer, a travel trailer, like I said, that he cut the floor out, and now he can take it, and it's removable, and he has a little generator he puts out, and he uses an electric heater. Uh, and we really need to be careful with that, because obviously water and electricity don't mix. So if you are going to go that route, and you are going to use a generator with an electric heater, Please make sure it's it's away from any water or anything like that uh, where you're not going to get electrocuted. So uh, one of the questions that I found uh, kind of funny was, if you run a heater in an ice shack, is it going to melt the ice to where you fall through? And uh, honestly, even I thought like, well, actually, yeah, like what happens if it gets like 80 degrees in there and it starts melting through the ice? Mm, that's most likely not going to happen you're not going to melt through that much ice with one little heater. So I, I would not be worried about that. I mean, most of the time the ice is like 48 inches thick or more. It could be more. Uh, so you, you generally don't have to worry about it melting the ice as much. But, but what you do have to worry about is your safety and um, especially with propane. So there are a couple of things. If you, if you just go out with an ice tent, like I, I have done with my buddies uh, the first time we went out, um, there's some things you can get, which are really cool because, and, and these aren't brand new because a lot of motorcyclists and stuff use this. You can get heated vests, um, electrical heated vests that run for a few hours at a time. You can get heated gloves that run for a few hours at a time. Uh, you can get heated socks, um, stuff like that. 
Uh, or what works is if you're bundled up and you use those heat packs, uh, you can stuff them in your pockets and stuff like that, and, and it'll keep you pretty warm. So there's always, uh, without having to have a propane heater, I mean, in a tent it's not going to be so bad because you're gonna it's going to be open and you're going to have some airflow. But especially if you're in a, an enclosed ice shack or a... Uh, not a motorhome, but a travel trailer that you've converted into an ice fishing shanty. You need to be really careful and uh, make sure it's vented or at least get an O2 sensor like a, or a CO2 uh, detector, something like that. So you can you can tell when you need to go out and, ha and you know, open the doors up a little bit. So uh, I did a really cool article on this that goes into the explanation about BTUs and all the science behind the propane and, and whatnot. And uh, it's on FastCast. If you go to fastcastrods.com slash ice heaters, or I linked the, the uh, link to it in the description below, and it's going to give you the whole breakdown on the different types of heaters um, and also goes into, you know, like the, the electric heaters and the propane heaters and the different types of propane heaters. And then it'll also give you a little breakdown on, on everything, all the other equipment that you can buy if you don't want to bring a heater and still keep warm. So if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments below and we'll try to help you out with any, anything that you have and uh, answer any questions you might have. Uh, otherwise, I'll talk to you soon.